Okay, so we're on the last segment now. Um, we're kind of in overtime. And it's not that late. It's just, it's still hot in here. It's still about 84. So, what's going on here? Now, I had counted five of them before, and now in this particular uh, chart, you know, which is uh, String Shapes Fretboard. Okay, what is the String Shapes Fretboard? This is the String Shapes Fretboard. And this is a wonderful thing. You're going to see a lot of this in the, in, the, in the coming charts because we have the letters labeled right there. And they're labeled in such a way that they're exactly where they need to be labeled. So there, there's no ambiguity. Now there's some ambiguity where these patterns are. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have a feeling we're missing one. Because if there's nine, where there's nine, there's got to be ten. Unless we just didn't make this, you know, a half of a, of a cage shape longer. So let's start down here in the, C, in the CA region. So let's just say this is your fret nut here. I'm not going to use the drawing tool, right? Say this is your fret nut here. So we're starting in the E. This is your low E. So we're in the C shape right there. So we have the C shape going to the A shape. The label's up there because it's shared. The, you know what I'm saying? The, the actual A shape is five root three right there. The C shape is root three five right there. But they share nodes. So they, this is the shared zone here between the A and the uh, E, and the C and the A. So what we got here is the C345 going what? To the 56 on the A shape. So that is the A shape. 56 is the A shape. So we got the 3456 where 5 is the pivot note between the C shape and the A shape. It's the shared note. We were just talking about that and I kind of bobbled that. I couldn't I tried to show you where the chords are. And there are shared notes between the A and the G right there, but that isn't where the shared notes are with the C. So let's look at it string by string. This is the C double pair build. So this is C, G, D, A, E. Here's your pentatonic, three, five, six, root. In C, two, three, five, six, root two. And then there'd be a repeat of the three, four, five above it. Notice this is only five strings. And then that would be warped over to give us our C shape right here. But now we're looking at C A shape. So this is this. Don't worry about the G part, the, this label G and C. So this right here is the unwarped five string pattern for this part of the fretboard. Goes C, A, C goes to the A. We're not worrying about the G there. Because that's the next share pair. So this is the build for that. We just use the, pair, the uh, string pattern pair of C and A sharing the, the five. The next string up is the fifth of C is G, sharing the seven and the root. That's why they're both colored, like, you know, in hypertext colored there. G shares the seven and the root with the E. Next up is the D and the C. So we've got the D sharing the three and the four with the C. These are the shared notes between the two shapes, between the two cage shapes. The fourth string, the share note is the sixth. Isn't that interesting? You wouldn't know that. But look at it this way. When you do a pentatonic in the C, you got three, five, six root, two, three, five, six. If you do a pentatonic in the A shape, you got five, six, seven, uh, five, six root, two, three, five, six root. So sh six is the share note. So that's what these builds are showing. And, and, and similarly with one warped over, we have the two has a shared note between the E and the D. When we go to the next 
shape the A the A cage and the G cage. So what lines up with the A cage and the G cage? Right here. This is your A cage and G cage. Where is it? Where is it? It's got to line up with that A cage. Ah, it's hiding up there. So here it is. A cage to G cage. Right? Five, six, seven root. Here's your A cage. Five, six. A is smack in the middle of the five, six. And G is in the middle of the G shape six, seven root. The share note between the A cage and the G cage is the six. And these are just the builds. The fifth of A is E, the fifth of A, the fifth of E is B, but it's an augmented, so you go to C. But over here it's okay, the fifth of D is A. It just works out that way, the fifth of A is E. So this is the A G build right there. And you can see the shared notes in between. So that that's all that's showing. And we will go onward to the G and the E shape right here. So we've got our G shape and our E shape. And we have here the G and the E build. All right. And, and, and so on and so on. And we have the G and the E. Oh, that is the G and the E build. The E and the D build is underneath it's right here the E build and the G build D build that big square we've got the E shape here we got the D shape here we've got the E and the D build just kind of banner fit to there remember this is five string and it's not warped it's it's a pattern this is warped and it's six string so it's got a repeated bottom and bottom string and by the way it's not just an arbitrary repeat of the bottom string it actually fits there if you go from the top string the C shape the A shape goes to the E shape the fifth of A is E the fifth of C is G as long as you know how to fit the patterns together but it's warped over see how it's warped over so the four isn't sticking out this time because the seven root two five six was warped over so that, that's how that works. That's the big old ED box. And then we go from D to C. That's probably up here. Here's D to C. The big old D to C box. Here's our D shape. Here's our C shape. And here's our, our pattern banner. This is a banner. It means banner. It could be anything. But it fits in over the cage you know what I'm saying it, it, it could be hey guitar player play play D C shape but it fits in over the D C cages right there where they intermix so this is the D build same thing the D and the C would share the three and the four but the point is that this is the D build the D is on the bottom don't worry about that E label because we're looking at two, three, four, five right there. Now, why is that included? Because in the D build, we're going to warp over that seven. Remember, I said we got to bring that seven over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, root two, and then build from there again. So we always have it going over. The seven always goes over one. So that's why we're sharing territory with that E box there. But we, we talked about but the shared territory. So this this three four here with the E and the D box, we have a shared three four on that D and C shape. D and C shape. They share that three four. So you know in a in a um, I guess a D shape we're gonna go Two, three, four, five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five. So we're over there. We don't get to play those if we're playing. Uh, if this was, if this was the fret not right here, we wouldn't get to access these notes. So that's about it for today. I thank you for watching, and I hope it wasn't too confusing. Keep watching. We'll keep making uh, making heads or tails of it, and good luck. Uh, check the Facebook group out and I'll see you next